does DDT affect the trees? Well, let's start with a broader scheme, biomagnification. Biomagnification starts when a primary producer ingests a harmful compound. At this point, that substance has now entered the food web. Next, a secondary consumer will eat the primary consumer and with that ingest the harmful compound that the primary consumer previously ate. At this point, the parts per million of that substance has now grown. This process goes on to affect every single organism in the food chain, including decomposers. Now let's get a little bit more specific. Let's talk about DDT. DDT is a pesticide that was used in the 1940s to the 1970s when it was then banned. It was banned because the peregrine falcon population was rapidly declining. But why? It was found that the large amounts of the pesticide was causing the eggshell layers to be very thin, ergo easily breakable. Since DDT has been banned, the peregrine falcon population has been steadily recovering and is now off the endangered species list. But how does this all affect the trees? Well first we need to understand tree anatomy. There are four main external structures of a tree. Roots, trunk, branches, and leaves. The roots are responsible for drawing nutrients and water from the soil and bringing it to the leaves, the trunk, and the branches. Branches essentially connect the leaves to the trunk and they have the same internal structures as the trunk. The trunk has many different layers. The outer bark protects the tree from outside forces. The inner bark or the phloem is a series of pipe-like structures that brings food from the roots to the tree. Next is the cambium cell layer. This produces new bark annually. It's triggered by auxins, hormones that stimulate growth. Then there's the sapwood, or the xylem. This transports water throughout the tree. Finally, there's the heartwood. This serves as a support structure for the entire tree. Next external structure of a tree are the leaves. The leaves conduct photosynthesis. Now let's connect how DDT affects the trees. As we previously mentioned, biomagnification affects all organisms in the food chain. A major way that trees get their nutrients are by decomposers breaking down abiotic matter and turning it into base nutrients. Then the tree will absorb it. But if the decomposers are dying because of this pesticide, then the trees will suffer too from the lack of nutrients. 